This is the Word of God, containing history, the law, poetry, prophecy, the good news of Jesus, and more. In under 15 minutes per day, we can read the entire Bible in a year and see and hear God's will for our lives. Let's read. Jeremiah chapter 14 This is the Lord's word that came to Jeremiah concerning the drought. Judah mourns, and its gates languish. They sit in black on the ground. The cry of Jerusalem goes up. Their nobles send their little ones to the waters. They come to the cisterns and find no water. They return with their vessels empty. They are disappointed and confounded and cover their heads. Because of the ground which is cracked, because no rain has been in the land, the plowmen are disappointed. They cover their heads. Yes, the doe in the field also calves and forsakes her young, because there is no grass. The wild donkeys stand on the bare heights. They pant for air like jackals. Their eyes fail, because there is no vegetation. Though our iniquities testify against us, work for your name's sake, Lord, for our rebellions are many. We have sinned against you. You hope of Israel, its Savior in the time of trouble. Why should you be as a foreigner in the land, and as a wayfaring man who turns aside to stay for a night? Why should you be like a scared man, as a mighty man who can't save? Yet you, Lord, are in the middle of us, and we are called by your name. Don't leave us. The Lord says to this people, Even so they have loved to wander. They have not restrained their feet. Therefore the Lord does not accept them. Now he will remember their iniquity and punish them for their sins. The Lord said to me, Don't pray for this people for their good. When they fast, I will not hear their cry. And when they offer burnt offering and meal offering, I will not accept them. But I will consume them by the sword, by famine, and by pestilence. Then I said, Ah, Lord God, Behold, the prophets tell them, You will not see the sword, neither will you have famine, but I will give you assured peace in this place. Then the Lord said to me, The prophets prophesy lies in my name. I didn't send them. I didn't command them. I didn't speak to them. They prophesy to you a lying vision, divination, and a thing of nothing, and the deceit of their own heart. Therefore the Lord says concerning the prophets who prophesy in my name, but I didn't send them, yet they say, sword and famine will not be in this land. Those prophets will be consumed by sword and famine. The people to whom they prophesy will be cast out in the streets of Jerusalem because of the famine and the sword. They will have no one to bury them, them, their wives, their sons, or their daughters, for I will pour their wickedness on them. You shall say this word to them, Let my eyes run down with tears night and day, and let them not cease, for the virgin daughter of my people is broken with a great breach, with a very grievous wound. If I go out into the field, then behold, the slain with the sword. If I enter into the city, then behold, those who are sick with famine. For both the prophet and the priest go about in the land, and have no knowledge. Have you utterly rejected Judah? Has your soul loathed Zion? Why have you struck us, and there is no healing for us? We looked for peace, but no good came, and for a time of healing, and behold, dismay. We acknowledge, Lord, our wickedness, and the iniquity of our fathers, for we have sinned against you. Do not abhor us for your name's sake. Do not disgrace the throne of your glory. Remember, and don't break your covenant with us. Are there any among the vanities of the nations that can cause rain? Or can the sky give showers? Aren't you he, the Lord our God? Therefore we will wait for you, for you have made all these things. Chapter 15 Then the Lord said to me, Though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind would not turn toward this people. Cast them out of my sight and let them go out. It will happen when they ask you, Where shall we go out? Then you shall tell them, The Lord says, Such as are for death to death, such as are for the sword to the sword, 
such as are for the famine to the famine, and such as are for captivity to captivity. I will appoint over them four kinds, says the Lord, the sword to kill, the dogs to tear, the birds of the sky, and the animals of the earth, to devour and to destroy. I will cause them to be tossed back and forth among all the kingdoms of the earth, because of Manasseh, the son of Hezekiah, king of Judah, for that which he did in Jerusalem. For who will have pity on you, Jerusalem? Who will mourn you? Who will come to ask of your welfare? You have rejected me, says the Lord. You have gone backward. Therefore I have stretched out my hand against you and destroyed you. I am weary of showing compassion. I have winnowed them with a fan in the gates of the land. I have bereaved them of children. I have destroyed my people. They didn't return from their ways. Their widows are increased more than the sand of the seas. I have brought on them against the mother of the young men a destroyer at noonday. I have caused anguish and terrors to fall on her suddenly. She who has borne seven languishes, she has given up the spirit. Her son has gone down while it was yet day. She has been disappointed and confounded. I will deliver their residue to the sword before their enemies, says the Lord. Woe is me, my mother, that you have borne me, a man of strife, and a man of contention to the whole earth. I have not lent, neither have men lent to me, yet every one of them curses me. The Lord said, Most certainly I will strengthen you for good. Most certainly I will cause the enemy to make supplication to you in the time of evil and in the time of affliction. Can one break iron, even iron from the north and bronze? I will give your substance and your treasures for a plunder without price, and that for all your sins, even in all your borders. I will make them to pass with your enemies into a land which you don't know. For a fire is kindled in my anger, which will burn on you. Lord, you know, remember me, visit me, and avenge me of my persecutors. You are patient, so don't take me away. Know that for your sake I have suffered reproach. Your words were found, and I ate them. Your words were to me a joy and the rejoicing of my heart, for I am called by your name, Lord, God of armies. I didn't sit in the assembly of those who make merry and rejoice. I sat alone because of your hand, for you have filled me with indignation. Why is my pain perpetual, and my wound incurable, which refuses to be healed? Will you indeed be to me as a deceitful brook, like waters that fail? Therefore the Lord says, If you return, then I will bring you again, that you may stand before me. And if you take out the precious from the vial, you will be as my mouth. They will return to you, but you will not return to them. I will make you to this people a fortified bronze wall. They will fight against you, but they will not prevail against you. For I am with you to save you and to deliver you, says the Lord. I will deliver you out of the hand of the wicked, and I will redeem you out of the hand of the terrible. Chapter 16 Then the Lord's word came to me, saying, You shall not take a wife, neither shall you have sons or daughters in this place. For the Lord says concerning the sons and concerning the daughters who are born in this place, and concerning their mothers who bore them, and concerning their fathers who became their father in this land, they will die grievous deaths. They will not be lamented, neither will they be buried. They will be as dung on the surface of the ground. They will be consumed by the sword and by famine. Their dead bodies will be food for the birds of the sky and for the animals of the earth. For the Lord says, Don't enter into the house of mourning. Don't go to lament. Don't bemoan them. For I have taken away my peace from this people, says the Lord. Even loving kindness and tender mercies, both great and small, will die in this land. They will not be buried. Men won't lament for them, cut themselves, or make themselves bald for them. Men won't break bread for them in mourning, to comfort them for the dead. Men won't give them the cup of consolation to drink for their father or for their mother. You shall not go into the house of feasting to sit with them, to eat and to drink. For the Lord of armies, the God of Israel, says, 
Behold, I will cause to cease out of this place, before your eyes and in your days, the voice of mirth and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride. It will happen when you tell this people all these words, and they ask you, Why has the Lord pronounced all this great evil against us? Or, What is our iniquity? Or, What is our sin that we have committed against the Lord our God? Then you shall tell them, Because your fathers have forsaken me, says the Lord, and have walked after other gods, have served them, have worshipped them, have forsaken me, and have not kept my law. You have done evil more than your fathers, for behold, you each walk after the stubbornness of his evil heart, so that you don't listen to me. Therefore I will cast you out of this land into the land that you have not known, neither you nor your fathers. There you will serve other gods day and night, for I will show you no favor. Therefore, behold, the days come, says the Lord, that it will no more be said, as the Lord lives, who brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but as the Lord lives, who brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all the countries where he had driven them, I will bring them again into their land that I gave to their fathers. Behold, I will send for many fishermen, says the Lord, and they will fish them up. Afterward, I will send for many hunters, and they will hunt them from every mountain, from every hill, and out of the clefts of the rocks. For my eyes are on all their ways. They are not hidden from my face. Their iniquity isn't concealed from my eyes. First, I will recompense their iniquity and their sin double, because they have polluted my land with the carcasses of their detestable things, and have filled my inheritance with their abominations. Lord, my strength, my stronghold, and my refuge in the day of affliction, the nations will come to you from the ends of the earth, and will say, Our fathers have inherited nothing but lies, vanity, and things in which there is no profit. Should a man make to himself gods which yet are no gods? Therefore, behold, I will cause them to know. This once I will cause them to know my hand and my might. Then they will know that my name is the Lord. Chapter 17 The sin of Judah is written with a pen of iron and with the point of a diamond. It is engraved on the tablet of their heart and on the horns of your altars. Even their children remember their altars and their Asherah poles by the green trees on the high hills. My mountain in the field, I will give your substance and all your treasures for a plunder, and your high places, because of sin, throughout all your borders. You, even of yourself, will discontinue from your heritage that I gave you. I will cause you to serve your enemies in the land which you don't know, for you have kindled a fire in my anger which will burn forever. The Lord says, Cursed is the man who trusts in man, relies on strength of flesh, and whose heart departs from the Lord. For he will be like a bush in the desert, and will not see when good comes, but will inhabit the parched places in the wilderness, an uninhabited salt land. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, and whose confidence is in the Lord. For he will be as a tree planted by the waters, who spreads out its roots by the river, and will not fear when heat comes. But its leaf will be green, and will not be concerned in the year of drought. It won't cease from yielding fruit. The heart is deceitful above all things, and it is exceedingly corrupt. Who can know it? I, the Lord, search the mind. I try the heart, even to give every man according to his ways, according to the fruit of his doings. As the partridge that sits on eggs which she has not laid, so is he who gets riches, and not by right. In the middle of his days they will leave him. At his end he will be a fool. A glorious throne, set on high from the beginning, is the place of our sanctuary. Lord, the hope of Israel, all who forsake you will be disappointed. Those who depart from me will be written in the earth, because they have forsaken the Lord, the spring of living waters. Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved, for you are my praise. 
Behold, they ask me, Where is the Lord's word? Let it be fulfilled now. As for me, I have not hurried from being a shepherd after you. I haven't desired the woeful day. You know. That which came out of my lips was before your face. Don't be a terror to me. You are my refuge in the day of evil. Let them be disappointed who persecute me, but don't let me be disappointed. Let them be dismayed, but don't let me be dismayed. Bring on them the day of evil and destroy them with double destruction. The Lord said this to me, Go and stand in the gate of the children of the people, through which the kings of Judah come in and by which they go out, and in all the gates of Jerusalem. Tell them, Hear the Lord's word, you kings of Judah, all Judah, and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem that enter in by these gates. The Lord says, Be careful and bear no burden on the Sabbath day, nor bring it in by the gates of Jerusalem. Don't carry a burden out of your houses on the Sabbath day. Don't do any work, but make the Sabbath day holy, as I commanded your fathers. But they didn't listen. They didn't turn their ear, but made their necks stiff, that they might not hear, and might not receive instruction. It will happen, if you diligently listen to me, says the Lord, to bring in no burden through the gates of this city on the Sabbath day, but to make the Sabbath day holy, to do no work therein. Then there will enter in by the gates of this city kings and princes sitting on David's throne, riding in chariots and on horses, they and their princes, the men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and this city will remain forever. They will come from the cities of Judah and from the places around Jerusalem, from the land of Benjamin, from the lowland, from the hill country, and from the south, bringing burnt offerings, sacrifices, meal offerings, and frankincense, and bringing sacrifices of thanksgiving to the Lord's house. But if you will not listen to me to make the Sabbath day holy, and not to bear a burden and enter in at the gates of Jerusalem on the Sabbath day, then I will kindle a fire in its gates, and it will devour the palaces of Jerusalem. It will not be quenched. That's our reading for today. Thank you so much for joining. Would you please like and subscribe and join again for our next reading, also here in Jeremiah. Have a very blessed day.